the repair kits for the use, these two-piece FireSafe NT150 and NT300 ball bells. Uh, the kit comes with the graphite. impregnated graphite impregnated seat to go between the two faces. Two PTFE main seats. Comes with the three Chevron crush washers, an FKM Viton O-ring, and also the main PTFE thrust washers. These are actually crush washers, those ones. They crush down, this is a thrust washer on that face. Got a unit here which has already been disassembled. It's a brand new unit, so it still has the PTFE thrust washer and the FKM O-ring in place. And it also has still over here the graphite impregnated seat still there between the body, body seat between the two faces. So we're going to reassemble that unit. Um, that goes back into here with a detent, like so. But that's how it goes, it just works into there. So Sven's just going to put this back together. This is, set, this is being cleaned, the seats inside here, the seat faces. They've already been cleaned with the rag. We're just making sure that this, these ones here are clean. So we can just run a cloth over it. That seat goes into there. Now, is there only one way that seat can go in? Yes, so the seat can only go one way. way. It's got the cone face here, which the ball sits against. Uh, if you go around the other way, it's obvious that it's around the incorrect way because it doesn't really have the cone face. But the cone face is where the ball rotates on. So cane faces are facing inwards towards the ball. Like so. Then the next part is the actual unit. We put the main stem in. Crush washers are actually in fact in place there. But and there's the three crush washers. They are chevron, so they do have a little machine face here. That machine cone face and the recess faces in towards the ball itself. So when they go like this, one pushes against the other and spreads the outside out to engage and seal on the in and in internal and external part of that bore inside there. Putting this stem back inside the unit. Thrush washer is placed into there. Bite on FKM O ring has been put into place. Unit's clean. A little bit of grease is applied. Which is a PTFE based or similar grease. Uh, the stem is put back into the into there. The other through there, seal the o-ring comes up against the stem and the resistance and it goes inside. The unit is then rotated so we can then put the ball in. In the top up here the crush washers are actually in place but normally they would be fed onto that shaft like such with as I mentioned before with the chevron face cone face up and the chevron down so it forces there. And after that, we get. Just a question there. They would be put into the shaft, into the cavity first before the shaft's put in. Not Correct. Under the shaft. Sorry, they're put into the cavity first. The Chevron crush washers are put into the cavity first of all, and then the sliding assembly is put on next. Just turn it around so we can see that. That's just a collar which slides up and down there and sits on top of the crush washers. Then the Belleville washers go on. First of all, there's a yes, the Belleville washers go on next. Like such for. So the cone is in here. So when they get compressed, they squeeze up against each other like a spring. And then the locking nut, this part goes on first of all. Uh, the nut first. Nut 
And you just do this finger tight until you've got everything together. Yeah. Yes, finger tight. So you could put the ball in before you put yep. the nut or the retainer on. Correct. Okay. So, so we, yeah, so we, the drive is facing horizontally. And we slide the ball on. And then we turn. That should be on. Now that we've inserted the main body gasket, this is the graphite impregnated gasket around here, and the ball is in place, we can just put the lever on just to gently rotate that to make sure it's all free, as you can see. The actual top can be installed. I've been putting the seat inside here already. Making sure the holes are all aligned. And Is this there an easy way to know what's top and what's bottom? Uh, once that's been installed like that, we can rotate it. The easy way to know what's top and what's bottom is the web here it can be aligned top and bottom. And then we take the bolts. And they can be put in here. I won't torque it up at the moment, but they're torqued with the wrench to the correct amount. And the unit put into place, so that then sets it up. Once it's in place, and then we've torqued up the bevel washer over here. Then we can we can now put the locking cap back on. That's actually held in place by the actuator or gearbox. So it's. Unlike some of the other valves, the unit comes from the bottom, this comes from the top, and it locks that nut in position. The actuator, gearbox, and assembly will go on the top here, including the lever, which will hold it in place. <laughs>